How would you feel about lending a close friend say $8,000 for a month? My very good friend who I've known for 10 years is buying an expensive car and needs a little extra cash for the down payment. He makes good money but he doesn't save, hence the liquidity issue. $8,000 is no small chunk for me but I honestly don't see it as a big deal at all. However I mentioned to another good friend who thought it was weird. Curious about what others' perceptions are on borrowing money from friends. Don't lend money to a friend that you're not willing to never see again. If you are fine just straight giving your friend 8k as a gift, then fine. If you get it back that's a nice bonus. Otherwise you risk destroying the friendship trying to claw the 8k back. And unless you get a lawyer and some paperwork involved, you will have no real method to get it back if you need it. This is a really bad idea for everyone involved. If he could pay you back in one month, he could wait one month to save 8k and do it himself. He should buy that car next month. I've loaned friends money many times. Only one has ever paid me back. At this point, I just assume they won't pay me back. If he isn't able to save to buy something as important as a vehicle, what makes you think he'll save up to pay you back? A car presently is more important than a promise. A loan is the best way I know to destroy a friendship. Only ever lend money you don't expect back. A beer, meal, pack of smokes? Fine. $8,000? No. Bad idea. Really bad idea. I'd be skeptical to loan $8,000 for an essential, let alone a luxury vehicle. I'd strongly recommend against it. Doesn't save for expensive car. X200B. Will surely save to pay you back. Hope this helps. I'd be very skeptical. If your friend makes good money, is buying an expensive car, but doesn't have enough saved for a down payment, your friend sounds like they're bad with money. If you lend, sign a contract and once it's signed, don't budge. Seriously, this loan could be friendship ending. Why is he buying an expensive car if he doesn't have the money in the first place? Yeah tell him to buy a used Corolla. I would if it was for something important like a doctor. Not for a fancy car. Your friend is making a poor financial decision and wants you to pay for it. If they cannot come up with the money now how are they going to pay you back? Fancy car payments are expensive. My dad taught me that you never loan money to friends or family that you couldn't afford to just give away. You think of it as a gift. You tell them it's a gift. If they plan row return it some day, great. If not, that's okay. It is a gift to my friend. That said, there are about 47 different ways your friend could solve this without borrowing from a friend. Don't lend him anything. It's called a line of credit he can get one at the bank. He's going to pay you back next month? How? If he had a spare 8 grand each month he'd be able to buy it using his own money. The way that OP is responding in the comments leads me to believe he is the one asking his friend for $8,000 his friend won't give it to him, and so now he's looking for internet backup. Best advice you will ever hear. When loaning money to a friend assume you're not getting it back. This will end badly for you I'm afraid, if he can't afford the car right now he should not buy it you do loan him the dollar dollar it will end your friendship probably. Make sure he signs a promissory note and have it notarized at a minimum. Or if you're okay with losing the 8k then just give him the dollar dollar and hope he pays you back at his convenience. Also if he is a travel nurse why does he need an expensive car right now? Does he travel drive across the country everywhere or fly? No. If my friend needed money because he was in a tough spot, I'd likely help. But for an expensive car? A luxury item? Fuck that lol. One of the first things you learn in economics is to not loan money to friends or family and keep it strictly business as to not ruin relationships. Tell him to wait a month. That's not an emergency. 8k loan to avoid losing his house or thumbs, that is an emergency. Cars are toys. 
If he can't save 8000k before buying the car he's not going to be able to get it together after buying the car. Don't lend money unless you are prepared to lose it. Am I the asshole? For getting angry at my friend for not repaying the 8k that he promised to pay back. If he needs an additional $8,000 for a down payment he can't afford the car. That's how much people borrow from family to help secure down payments for houses not cars. Absolutely not. It would be only the beginning of a long future string of bailouts for someone who hasn't learned self-control and saving. Just don't do it. If they have an income, they can borrow from a bank you are not a bank. A vanity car? Fuck no. Either give him the money outright as a gift or don't give him the money at all. Don't lend your friend $8,000 or you won't see it returned to you. He makes good money but he doesn't save. Then how the fuck is he going to pay you back? If they can give your money back in a month, they should just wait that one month and buy that car by themselves. Nope. High income no savings red flag. If he doesn't have enough self-control to save $8,000 to buy something he really really wants, he sure as hell won't be bothered to pay you back. After he gets the car, he will move on to something else to spend his money on. Sounds like you already decided you trust this person enough. Nope. Will ruin your friendship. I would only lend 8.000 euros to one of my friends. And he's the one that would never ask for the 8.000 euros. At the very least sign a contract and repayment plan. They are buying above their means. It sounds like he's overextending himself based on your other comments. If you're cool gifting him the money then by all means do it. But if you need it back be prepared for excuses because once people get what they want it becomes less important to them to give it back. I would have him pawn something s of his that value over the money he is looking to borrow. Consider it a gift instead of a loan, you'll probably never get your money back. Don't lend money unless you're prepared to never get it back. People's priorities change when money is involved. Only if you're okay to never see that money again. If you require that money back, never lend it to anyone. If you can afford to do it, and not expect the money back, go for it. I have loaned money to friends with promises of repayment and it never happens. I gave a friend $200 and haven't heard from them since. If he says he's going to pay you back in a month, that means he can save $8,000 a month and will have the down payment next month for his car. If he isn't going to have the down payment for his car next month, then he wasn't going to pay you back. Your friend can get a loan from a bank. No. TW suicide. I am haunted forever by the money I let a friend borrow. It took a while to pay back and at the time it felt like it hung over every conversation we had for a year or two. He died by suicide with significant secret money problems, among other issues. I wish the last years of our relationship weren't focused on money and that I had just forgiven the loan. If I had known how bad things were, the money would have been a non-issue. I can see lending someone $100. 8k, there's no way. You lost me at friend wants an expensive car. You can help a friend out if he needs the car not wants a car. If he wants the expensive car, he can earn it. I would challenge him to a bet instead. Both try to save as much money as you can in one month. Loser buys dinner. Why can't he wait to buy the car until he can afford it? I'd never lend anyone money who's bad with it, and he clearly must be. Unless it's an emergency it's a no from me. It's just an expensive toy for a guy who earn enough but doesn't know how to save, in your own words. Why would you lend any money to a friend like that? He's an incompetent child who'll probably crash it within the year anyhow. Good luck getting your money back. I do t think he should be buying the car in the first place if he can barely afford it. I wouldn't.